Hey what's up guys welcome back to the video so today I have another squad HDK tutorial video for you guys and so in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can package or how to package and upload your mod to the steam workshop so this was a video requested by someone um, I couldn't remember what your name was again but um, with that said let's get to it so the first thing um, that you'll have to do is uh, make sure your map is completely ready and um, you think it's um, good to be packaged and then uploaded to Steam so basically go through all of the settings especially to your world settings make sure everything you want to, want to be set here is correct like your team info and um, the team tickets and whatnot and then make sure your minimap is set and um, all of your game mode stuff and generally just make sure all of your stuff is ready uh, to go so one thing that I need to tell you guys that you need to do before um, you uh, package your mod is make sure you have the um, the tool chain installed for Linux toolchain so you can basically just search UE4 toolchain and it should be this first one cross compiling for Linux so um, this is just uh, what you have to install um, for your mod to be able to be compiled for Linux and um, so you want to get this 4.21 and then uh, one so you will click on this thing here and you just click save it's 550 megabytes uh, so depending on your download speed uh, yeah but um, once you guys have downloaded that just double click the exe and it will just install and do everything for you and then after you've done that uh, you'll have to restart your PC and then come back <laughs> to the video and continue on um, otherwise it won't work instantly after you've just installed it um, so, um, after you guys have done that, uh, we can go on. So, the first thing that you want to do is click on this modding hub icon up there, and then we're going to go to load, double click, and then you want to double click on that MI file of yours. So, here you want to make sure your mod name is correct how you want it, and then your description, and then obviously you need to give it an image. Now, obviously, I already have one. So, um, after that, you want to go over to share, and then uh, you want to click on this package. Now, I don't think I'm going to show you guys the entire process of going um, of it being packaged because I don't want to make the video too long. But um, once it's finished, I will come back and then uh, we'll go on from there. So I'm now going to click on package. Now. Depending on um, what computer you have and and whatnot, uh, the compiling process uh, might take longer. Um, so, yeah, it all depends on your uh, PC and what kind of CPU um, and whatnot you have, because obviously it uses a lot of your CPU when it compiles stuff. So, um, um, I'm gonna see. If it doesn't take too long, um, I will not cut the video. So um, let's see uh, how long this takes. So, oh, um, one thing that I do want to suggest uh, to you guys is if you, uh, before you compile your mod, um, if you do get errors or whatever, um, Go delete your intermediate folder in your uh, squad SDK uh, folder files and then after you've done that restart the SDK and then try to package it again. Um, now obviously I don't know how to fix everything so but if you guys are getting any other errors um, just go on to the squad modding discord and then there's a lot of other people um, there that can also help you guys out if there's any other problems you're having but if there is 
errors that you are experiencing um you're more than welcome to uh, comment down below in the video description uh not description comment but you guys know what i'm talking about but um yeah so um i'm gonna see how long this takes if it's taking if it's going to take too long i will cut the video and then i'll be back uh, once this is finished Okay, so um, I'm back. So that did take some time for me, uh, although my mod isn't even that uh, big. But um, that will all also depend on how big your mod is. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than uh, mine. So, um, but um, with that said, um, if you got a successful packaging message there in the corner you should be all good to go so we can close this now i'm gonna quickly open my folder here and then we're gonna quickly go to my mod uh, plugins mods over here and you should now have a folder called cooked and then in here you should have your mod name and then in here is your mod files so you have your um, content folder packs and then there's the linux version so everything is packed, um, so no one can actually get into your mods files or modified or whatever. But um, there it is. It's all good to go. So um, you can leave everything like is. And now I'm going to quickly just minimize this. And now we can click this modding hub again and we're going to click upload. And now here uh, you just need to add a change log. So I'm just going to make this. Um, so let's say first. Oh, 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 okay, let's just say tutorial mod first. Not first upload version. Uh, let's say 1.0. Okay, so. Uh, this is obviously what's going to show up in your change logs on the workshop page. So um, obviously you guys will put, would put in here your um, official change logs or whatever. I ju I'm just putting this in obviously because this is a tutorial video for you guys. Um, but um, after you guys have uh, typed in your change logs, you can uh, press OK. And then you guys will see it's saying preparing content and now it will go ahead and um, upload your mod. So um, obviously you do need to have Steam open and logged in for this to work. Um, and I do think you also need to own squad. Um, but um, as you guys can see now it says they're uploading content. Now depending on how big your uh, mod is this will take a while. But um, at least I have a a um, a good enough upload speed. So this is 172 megabytes. So that shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna wait here until this is finished. I might uh, skip this part after it's finished, but um, I'll see you guys once this is finished. Okay, so it's um, almost finished and then it's finished. So now you can close this and I'm quickly going to open my Steam. And I'll just show you guys that it's actually on the workshop. Uh, obviously I'm going to make this private because this is just a 
mod uh, that I'm using to make all of my tutorials um, but um, we'll quickly go to my squad then we go to workshop then we're gonna go to your files and as you guys can see oh not there as you guys can see there's my mod with the with the avatar or the image I'm gonna click on this and as you guys can see uh, here is the mod it shows the file size and everything should be good to go so if you guys um, are getting this um, your mod is now on the workshop and you're good to go so obviously if you go here to change this here over here you will see um, the message that I put it here in the in the change log thing so um, every time you update your mod uh, you um, if you want to keep it the same or whatever um, you just change the version number maybe here or tell or say whatever you changed in the change log same goes for the description but um, with all that said I think that's it guys um, if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already and also remember to check all of the links in the video description and guys also remember to go and follow my twitter if you guys have twitter but, I've, but with that said i'll see you guys in the next one